Hello, good, I- good evening. It's Sunday again, and we it feels like Monday to me. It does not feel like a Sunday. Um, we had a weekend going up to Manchester on Friday, and then across to Wales. We stayed overnight with family, and we've brought my niece back, and she's busy over there cutting some die cutting me some letters. So Mel's with me tonight, um, and I'm going to be doing watercolor uh, water. Uh, what is it? It's sitting in front of me. Shaving foam. Watercolour month, but we are doing shaving foam. I am completely out, as you probably saw from the last uh, live. Hi, Shaz. Nice and early this time. You're first in. Um, so, <laughs> and Carol, hi. Um, the, uh, yeah, I was going to say, my watercolour paper, I'm, I'm clean out, um, just those little scraps left. So I couldn't use the technique I wanted to do tonight. Um, I am trying to scrounge um, a sheet off um, one of my team coming over tomorrow. So um, we're crafting together and prepping for something tomorrow. So hopefully she'll bring some for Wednesday nights. Okay, so tonight I have mentioned shaving foam, but tonight is all about playing with inks again. We're shifting inks and we're making a move. Hi Sue, nice to see you. Um, So yeah, let me get you down on the table. Going to watch while I sew. Oh, lovely. You love the shaving foam. Excellent. If you want to make it, um, when are you here? Yeah, yeah we, can, we can do that as well. Okay, so let me get you across down onto the table, get the camera up, move you across, and there I am in the corner. Okay, so shaving foam. Now, a few rules with sa- shaving foam. The first one is you get the cheapest, cheapest you can. Um, you do not need to have the very best i'm just going to zoom you in a little bit so you can see better you don't need to have the best this was a very basic um one that i had um i don't know if sainsbury's is still in those packaging but hey i've tested it there's still some in there good shake and that was fine the rule we don't use the blue so if you your husband's partner's boyfriends whatever use the blue gel we don't want the blue gel we need the white foam okay The next thing is you need a paper plate or a little dish. This is just a broken lid that I keep. Hi, Gillian. Um, You loved Wednesdays, excellent. Um, So this is just a broken lid, but it's very shallow. If I show you on its end, you can see it's very shallow. And that's all we need. We don't need a big deep dish. I have got a second one in case we get time to do some more. It is too deep, really. Um, But that's the, the next step. Um, and I need something, I will use my inky one of those, that will do, there we go. So, we are going to start by putting, we're going to cut some panels of card first, and I must make cut some chunks to do. Now, um, I'm just going to take some basic white card, really, um, and if I cut these, whatever length they are, they look to be the same. So let's test that somewhere on my, I'll put my grid sheet down now, haven't I? Let's grab a ruler and see what that length is. That is 13 point, 13 and a half. So let's go nine, nine and a half this way. Um, or nine, probably nine going to be. It's nine by 13 and a half. And if I test that on a bog standard card size, what do we have in the bucket today? We have a navy one here. Done. So that on there will be the right sort of proportions I need. You all right? Yeah, it might bang. Oh, yeah. Mel's just saying that it might bang because she actually goes off the end of the... Um, off the end of the cutter she's just cutting those letters nearly there so let's put those away they can go in scraps so the colours we've chosen for tonight I was playing with some rainbows and I have made some basic templates for some cards um, just on a, a, a cut layout that I use and I've just been cutting these three layers these, these three colours together so we've got the um, pool party we've got the midnight um, misty moonlight and we've got the granny apple green so the colors were out on the table and Mel quite liked those together I gave her my color chart and they were the ones she picked so they are our re-inkers we will be using tonight so we've got misty moonlight pool party and granny apple okay so they're the ones we'll be using three is a good number um, if you get too many colors it goes muddy and it's it's not a, not a pretty sight so i'm gonna put those out of the way get rid of the rest of the card and we're just going to prepare to get mucky and we'll put a sheet i will put this on here actually because if it just splatters a bit then that will just save our table won't it so get that in your camera nicely for you so i stay within the 
in the screen. There we go, and we'll work on here. So our shaving foam, we've got to shake it really, really well. Do that off there, otherwise. <laughs> oh, hi, Pam. Who's never seen the shaving foam? Sue, never seen the shaving foam. You're going to be in for a treat. You know me by now. I like messy. I like fun. So, oh, don't say it's going to run out. You can't do that. Don't do that. Maybe we will only get one tonight. I keep shaking it in between. It feels really full. Okay, so I will spread that round. That should be enough, actually. Mel, remember we need to get some tomorrow. Um, <laughs> so I've got my mucky um, bone folder here that I use for spreading and re-inking, etc. So all we're going to do is make a nice little layer of this on the bottom here. You just you can use a plastic spatula. I just forgot to get it out of the kitchen. Um, it doesn't. It just needs to be big enough for your card and a little bit further around the edges. Have you actually seen me do this now? Yeah. You have. Oh, that's right. Oh, and Smudge is coming on to say hi to Shaz. Can I just open the door, dear? So there we go. That will be enough. Okay, I'm going to wipe that in there just to get rid of it. Okay, so we have kitchen roll to hand and we wipe that. It's clean fun, this one. It's not messy reinkers. It is shaving foam. And I tell you what, your card will smell very, very nice. Linda's never seen this either. You're in for a treat. So that's relatively clean back to where it was. Here's my, my shaving foam. I'm going to keep my hands away from that little bit. <laughs> uh, you're going to make me get a rein, aren't you? So let me just do that first. Oh, no, it's too There you go. Jazz wants to say hello. So we come back. So we're going to use our three reinkers. Lovely cheers. Good having a little helper this week. It's really nice. Okay, you can just lose. Oh, lose those. Some. Just pop them the other side. I might ask you to pass them over. So we have Misty Moonlight. Okay. Now all we need. Yes, yeah, she needs a treat. She's had treats for Mel all day, hasn't she? <laughs> so we're going to put some random little drops in here. Or we're not touching the shaving foam. We are just literally going to squeeze out some drops, just randomly. Now, when you get your reinkers, they do. <laughs> Got double trouble now, this other one's come in. There you go, that's much saying hello to Shaz. Everybody knows Mel when she's around because she'll they can hear her through the door. <laughs> okay, so this is quite gloopy, this one. Um, this is Misty Moonlight. I've put some big blobs on there. Um, sometimes they do come out um, more runny than that. The thing is when you put your colours in here, you will not be able to see the true colour until they start to bleed, but it's not very, <laughs> oh bless, it's not very, oh, that one you see is coming out really fast. So, um, there we go. And it's leaving some little splashes on that one as well. Doesn't matter. So that was my pool party. Now I'll just shake this one up, so mix it all in. Now I've been playing today with another project and it is, it is still Stampin' Up. I've used Stampin' Up products but we'll show you at the end. I've got it just out of camera and I'm going to show you at the end um, something that I want to get back into and I've entered a challenge. So I've got five weeks now. We had a warm up one week this week. I think that should be enough. So there are my three colours. Hi Maxine, hi Helen. Meowsies, yeah. <laughs> yes, Linda. Um, she's sat on the end of the table, out of sight. Now, all you need to with this is something with a thin, narrow end. I mean, I'm using the end of a paintbrush here. Um, I've tried the um, wooden coffee stirrers. They're not really that, that brilliant because they've got a flat edge and it kind of like spreads it a bit more. But if you've got something like that, the finer the better. Um, a knitting needle would do. Um, the tweezers are kind of not, yeah, they're not in the right shape really but you just want a, a, a thin and it's only going to be the depth of your shaving foam okay so what we're going to do is we're going to marble this so we're going to literally take cut through these and we're going to wipe through and we're just going to marble just cut through you can lift it lift it off you can swirl it you can make pretty patterns you're going to cut across it if you don't want to mix it in too much you can wipe your paintbrush on a tissue and you can literally just move it around, make whatever patterns you like. Okay, and then we, when we think we're, we're ready, that's about right, I think. So I'm gonna just keep wiping this in between so it doesn't leave any ink on there. And then I'm gonna get my piece of card. Now, this is gonna be bigger than what my ink is, 
doesn't matter because we're going to trim it down hi Lynette haven't seen you on here lately lovely to have you back hi Frances so very very simply here I need to have another scrap of card can you reach the any scraps they're over the other side aren't they it doesn't really matter a sec. We can find something in here. We're not using this colour, but we'll find a scrap. If you think about this ahead of time and you don't forget, you can actually use um, a piece of your mount board from the back of your the back of your um, design series paper packs. So you get the not not the thick grey one, but the white, anything like that, just to scrape. You'll see what I'm going to do. So we're going to tap that on there. And we want to cover everything. You're going to let that sink in there completely. Okay, so we're not squidging it in. We're just laying it on the top and letting those inks transfer. Because it's Whisper White, you can see the ink is bleeding through already. I'm going to peel it off. Okay. And we're going to literally peel it. So, okay, so we're taking that off there. Now, we will get this, this um, paper messy. It doesn't matter. That's not even going to be wide enough. I need a longer bit. I've got any scraps in there longer. Oh dear. Oh dear. This isn't good, is it? I need a long piece I can get hold of. I might just have to cut a piece. I'm being too stingy with my scraps because I'm using them all up. They are all too, far, too small. All right. Let me see what's the other side of the table. This is unlike me to waste a piece, but I'm going to have to. The trimmer, please, now. Um, Big, the underneath. There. That's it. It's normally on the chair beside me. So, that's it. I'm just going to cut a strip off here. I don't like wasting card, as you know, but hey, it needs must sometimes. Let's take that. Nelly's seeing the true reason why my desk looks an absolute mess when we um, finish alive. So here's my piece of card. We're not using yellow tonight, the daffodil. So I'm literally just going to take that and I'm going to scrape it across the card, like so. Okay, now I wouldn't reuse this, but I have got a bin handy, so we're going to put it in there. If you reuse it, it will go smeary, it will go blurry, whatever. So what I'm going to do now is I'll take a look and see where I'm up to. And I want some more colour in here, so I'm going to bring my tray back on. And we can double dip, okay? That's the easiest way to remember. Don't be afraid to double dip. So that piece hasn't got ink, so we'll scrape that up. Grab the yellow card. Oh. Now I'm going to have to ask you to get some board for me. We need lots of pieces of scrap. I haven't done this technique for so long. Um, There we go. So what I've just grabbed is a piece of the backing board, as I said. It's a bit thicker, um, and I'm going to cut this down the middle and then cut that into some little banners that we can use. Okay, so a six-inch piece to start with. Through there, check that. And then we'll cut some little strips along here. They need to be big enough for you to get hold of. Um, it is it basically it is waste, so we'll leave that for now. We might need some more. Okay, so we've done that on the shaving foam, so we're going to wipe that off now. Okay, we've skewed that, and you see it's just fil finished in that little bit there. I want a little bit more here, so we're going to double dip wherever you want to go and pick that up, and we're going to scrape that off as well. Now there's not much on there, so I'm just going to carry that on across. Okay. So there we go. So that could just be wiped off in the bin on that other piece. And I could just wipe that and use that again. I'm gonna tell you a little warning on this as well. So we'll put that to one side. We'll wipe this. Okay, it's a dry mess. So shaving foam is purely the carrier. Yeah, it's a marble effect, Linda. Um, it's basically, this is, this is dry now, it's just the Shaving foam has been the carrier for the inks to marble. So think about decorating cakes um, and you marble cakes with a needle and you just zigzag all the way across. This is exactly the same. So it's just creating that lovely effect. If I bring it nearer to you, 
so that's my colors for today so that's one now you can go back in and do another dip now I can see on here there's some little baldy patches in there so I kind of want to just bring some of that back in you won't get such a true color in there I'm just going to add some more once you see this is getting like it's running out it doesn't sound healthy does it you could you just use what's underneath you can swirl some more in you'll get a totally different look once you've reused okay so we're just taking that over there no this has got a bit of a ridge in it so it's not so good now can you notice the background now has gone like a greeny color you can probably see that on the camera it's got a bit greeny so now if i go and put some more drips in you can literally just put some little drops of this in some of that ink will be transferred you'll have some on the background it will be picked up okay and some of it will take will hold to the card now this was misty this was the one that was a little bit syrupy i don't know why that's so slow coming out i'll have less of those four of those that's it i won't say you won't when i say clean hi emma nice to see you on here um i won't say that you'll have a clean craft because as we know inks aren't clean clean um but you'll have fun doing it um and obviously you will get drops of ink on your, your thumb so we're going to get the paintbrush back again okay and we're going to just marble this just draw around it draw through those swirl through however you want to bring them okay just swirl you can go around in circles you can go patterns you can do what you want you don't really want to make it too muddy because you will lose that definition of the of the marble okay but where you see like here there's blobs that haven't gone you can just run your your needle your paintbrush through it and swell those out of the way so you get some everywhere okay how many people have done this before I'm sure there's lots on here that have but there's clearly some that have never seen it before so that's good now we're going to do another one we've got another panel here to do okay so this is another piece exactly the same just our normal basic white card and i'm going to go on there down into the shaving foam those who missed the start it has to be the white it can be as cheap as chips as you can get so you know you literally bargain basements and i'm going to peel this off okay and we get different patterns each time now before i go and drag this along the edge uh, down the card you will notice that as you use this the ink will get along the core edge of that card okay so if i was to drag this along somewhere i won't do it now I'm demonstrating it but you can actually find with the wet of your your shaving foam you can actually find these colors will then drag it backwards again so i don't like to do that i use the opposite side and i'll bring a clean piece all the way down okay one clean um, sweep now i don't know if you can see that on the camera can you see that the background on this one is a little bit green especially that side the my left side it's got some of the green from swirling it is actually in that mixture and it's taken to the card yeah it's a it's a lovely technique yeah so several people have done it with me a long time ago yeah hi Rhonda. i didn't see you creep on lovely to have more people joining so this piece here you could technically you could wipe this back into that pot and in fact i might just do that okay because i might play more once we come off air okay i will wipe this um i wouldn't use this because you can get that um dragging effect where you, where you don't want the dragging okay if you're just using the backing of your card it's not it's, you know you're not using expensive card so I'm just going to wipe this over like I did before. You're just taking the excess foam. And there is no real reason to dry those. So if I move that out of the way where it's not going to do any harm. I've got a bin there, that's good. So there we are with our two pieces. We've got one nice clean piece. And then we've got one that's got that pale green in the background. Just move you up. There you go, you can see those. So Emma's never done that. Oh, whoa so use a clean piece of this each time if you use your backing card like i said you can just cut lots of strips and have them ready to, to the side of you i did this uh, i've done this a few times in classes 
and I recommend if you have a conveyor belt because I know I've got demos on here if you have a conveyor belt so you have one table station is spraying the phone and spreading it the next one is putting the reinkers in the next station is doing the scraping off and the end finally at the end you have a box on the floor with a dustbin bag in it okay an old debit store card yes that would work I like to have it the full width of the card if I can so it depends on the area you're doing you can you can either have a you know you could do bigger pieces of card but it's probably better to do a, a manageable size piece but a quarter of a sheet of a4 is brilliant then you can cut it down to what you need okay so these I just used what was on my desk okay so I'm going to take those to one side now um, and I'm going to turn this over okay now I'm using the paper on here in fact you know what I'm going to start a new sheet I was doing something with my um, my um, knife the other day and I cut through, so I'll use that one for something else or shopping lists, etc. Just move that on this tad. Bring the pad back into the middle so you can see me. There we go. So now we're gonna go back to the trimmer and I'm gonna make up how I tend to do my choose my colours. So once you've found your three colours you're gonna use, I would take a sheet of each card okay and I would cut it in half I would make it a card base if I do it with one here I've got one card on the back there but we'll take one at a time one at each of those now so I'm just going to score this down the middle full one. yeah full one of each tar so ten and a half down the middle score that down there this is the metric sizes then turn it and cut on my other red dot here just one and a half mils under the 15 14.85 so I'm going to cut that, uh, score that one and pop that aside ready to use another time and there's our card for today now if you wanted to instead of doing the quarter pages you could take that quarter cut this on the ten and a half as well then you basically have a couple of matte layers so I want one card and one matte layer in each colour so we'll do this one next so I'm just going to cut it in half I normally am so routine as doing my making my two card bases. Today I'll just make the one card base. I score that one, fold it in half, and then this one I will cut at ten and a half. Okay, and that can go away. That's one and one. And then lastly the pull party. So we'll cut that in half. It's nice having an assistant here. Um, Ten and a half down there. Yes, bring your trimmer, please. Incredible makes incredible backgrounds. Absolutely, Shaz, definitely. And then we'll have quarter sheet for our panel. Don't know what size we're going to use yet, but that's a quarter of each one. So pass that over. So we now are just going to bone fold these. So there, there, and there. So we have three card bases. But we also have a panel of each one. So I like to mix and match. You kind of want to just have different colours on each one, like so. And you see, you can see those, can't you? Like that. Um, we can always add some white on there, but then we can start putting the panels on and thinking, right, what do we want to have? What colour combinations do we like? Do we like something like that? Do we like something with the other way round? You've seen me before so many times holding a piece of card up and seeing what combination I like. Okay, so you're just trying to swap them around on here as to what would work nicely for different ones. Okay, now there isn't a lot of pool party showing in this one. There is a little bit, but not lots. So you could still use this, but bring out the enhancements with a layer or something. You could even bring it to, the, to that sort of combination. Okay, we need to pick two out of this these um, pieces here so we could make them up. Um, I think that's got too much blue. This has got a lot of green in the card, so I'm tempted to go with that combination and discard the others. So we've got a blue with the green in the background. We've got the green as the background, so we're using all four colours, all three colours, sorry, in different ways. Does that make sense? Lovely cardstock. Who's my assistant? No, my assistant. Um, Mel, you're going to come on the phone? Come on, come say hi. No, she's being shy. Bless her. It's our niece from Wales. 
Yeah, hubby very rarely get him in here, Emma. Very rarely. The green and the blue. Yeah, I like the green and blue. We've got two cards here, so we can use both. Um, this one's got more of the dark, so I've left that on this side because it's got not got the dark card. But if you swap it over, it looks totally different. Okay, you do it like that. That one's bringing more through of the light, but you want to enhance the colours that aren't in there already, really. So that hasn't got the dark, this hasn't got the light. So we're bringing those three colours through in a different way. If you wanted to, you could even cut that in half, okay, and have it as a panel on the card. If you're doing that, I'd suggest the second layer got um, embossed. Then you could map this piece on, a, on one of the colours, but you can make more than that out of the, the four pieces. Uh, two pieces sorry so that's where we're going to head okay we'll pop that one to one side and we'll work with this one so i have straight away i'm going to put a layer behind that um i haven't worked out what else i've got in front of me at the moment yeah she's now thanks um linda she's only only arrived yesterday we had um yeah we had a long journey up to on friday david and i went up to manchester to see our David's elderly aunt in hospital, in a nursing home, sorry. So um, I'm going to leave these panels the size they are, I think. They were nice, true colours. Now, I've brought my little trimmer on, and you've seen me do this before. I'm going to leave a little tiny border, and I'm doing some more eyeballing tonight. I will grab a pencil somewhere. There's a pencil. Oh, you like that one? Soft one. So I'll put a little pencil mark at the top there where I'm going to cut. And I'll put a pencil mark down the bottom here where I'm going to cut. Okay. Those of you who've missed previous episodes, I do this one like, instead of um, oh, glasses here. Instead of um, measuring, sometimes that's the best way to be. And I know several people have reported back to me that they've done that and it works well. Just put a little pencil mark on there and make sure it's in your cutting track. Okay. So that's that one. And then the same with this one. So we're going to layer this up on here. I'll go with my scrap pot. So we're going to literally layer that one up. It's a little border, top and bottom, evenly, and then a little mark there and a little mark here. Okay, leaving the same size border on those edges. Oh, Indy's watching. <laughs> we like a pets channel, don't we? Okay, cut that one down there. David at the door I think so there we go we've got two layers on there so this would be our base for number one we'll layer this one on here like so now I'm not going to necessarily put that straight down um, I'm just going to see what have I got out of my cupboard oh we've, we've, an early night, oh an early night he's always an early night um <laughs> Let me just say, can you get me out of the the, the, um, the the punches there? Can you just bring me, is there double ovals in the second column top? We love the ovals. Okay, that'll do nicely. So this is one of the ones I use a lot for gutting my cardstock. So we come in here, we'll go that way on first, and we'll punch out a couple there. These pieces do get used. Um, and then I'm gonna come in here and do the same there. We're only gonna see the edge border a couple of those and depending on the width of your card um, you could come in here and do another one but there's not enough room tonight okay so that's that one and I'll do the blues as well so come in there and I rely on the width of this between the punch and the edge of the card to be my border so okay, two of those and two of those okay I've got lots of swaps to make for um the convention coming up so I think that several of those uh, might get used on my swaps so is that the one I had out no I, think that one was. I had one out earlier and it was running nicely oh. just see no you're gonna play it Can you remember which one we had Oh, don't say they've all been left. I had was three pots here and one of them was definitely running well. Love that punch. And the flag end. Yes, absolutely. There we go. We're running. The flag end is really good. I do normally point that out for people 
you'll see me flag end um, a lot of the time but I tend to just eyeball that as well but for those of you who like it but you know just can't um, like to do it then you can always mm -hmm. oh, oh. my tape is missing not had the tape out I'm gonna I'm gonna use tape on here oh, um, this one. it's a white tape no not that one sorry that's for the dies I have a reel of tape and double-sided tape a bit like that but it's got a white edge on it it's not in its usual home so we'll use the Tombow um, it's not a problem using Tombow it's just the fact that because it's got a slight little give in it because it's got um, it warps slightly so it's slightly on the curve but it's not wet as I said earlier this one I'll put down flat the other one I'm going to use pads on so you can see two different ways so now that's down I'm going to press over the back here with my bone folder nice and firmly without jiggling the camera just push it back up there I have to keep an eye on the camera I've tightened up all the junctions so it shouldn't hopefully it won't droop tonight so there's one ready done and then we'll do the second one as well Mel didn't know the routine you see she went to say good night to David and she shut the door so Smudge now can't get in again just leave it ajar Mel I'll come in and go out as they please okay, okay. so down this side so while you're on here who are anybody who's local and has nothing to do on Sunday I will actually be at the forum in Norwich, the library. Um, I've signed up to, there's going to be 32 stalls and it is everything cakes and craft. All, all, I think it's called all things cake and, cake and craft. So it's in the forum at the library. They have lots of things go on in the main entrance there and there'll be 32 stalls and one of them will be me and Mel. So that'd be good. So there's my two cards, and now it's a case of how are we going to plan our decoration. There we go. Um, so in our tray here, we have some hallows. So, so we've got the die cuts that Mel's just done for me. I don't know how I'm going to put these on here yet, but we have got the three colours. So we could always put a mixture on here. I think this one is going to be too insipid today, so I'm going to leave the pool party, and I think we use the... The, um, the green and the misty. And that's an O, there's an L. You might need to have something, a layer underneath us. There's that one, that's the insipid. It's just on these colours, it's just too light. Sometimes you need generic cards like this where you can just say a friendly hello. Um, Smudge is sitting opposite us, looking over the table. Bless her. So this, these are still, because it's quite a patterned paper in the background, it's going to get a little bit lost in there. Okay, so I think we will have a piece of paper coming across there. So the, whisk, the basic white I've got there, that's lovely. And we will cut a little layer, even if it's only a strip. Okay, we can just pop those under there. So that's too wide. like this see the little ovals are going to be too small this is going to be too wide so i need to just narrow a layer than that we can have them quite close together and then we can do something with the edges as well and then we can make a little little tunnel on there so i'm going to take that i'm going to take my pencil good old pencil and i'm just going to come in here with a little pencil line and mark the length that i'd like that to be i don't know if you can see me where i'm pointing on here so I'm going to have that and I'm going to cut that off there. So just slide those out of the way, slide the letters off again. Get that out of the way. Big trimmer. That's it. So I'm now going to put that little, you can see me there. I'm now going to put that little pencil mark in my cutting track. So on the Stampin' Up trimmer, it's literally getting that in that cutting groove here. Okay, and making sure that it's straight all the way up. So the same gap. Okay, so that would be like that. Cut that piece off 
move it out of the way. And cut. I put a new blade on here the other day and it's so noticeable, it's really good. So just for fun at the moment, I'm just gonna cut this in half. I don't know what width I'm gonna use on each card, but there we go. Okay, so we're in there now. So we'll pop that one to the side for a minute. We're gonna use work on this one. And then we'll put our letters on. Um, we've got a white panel, but we, I'm gonna put those on as close together as I can. If I turn that over, it will, um, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Okay. So there is a right and a wrong side of these. When you die cut, the side that is down on your cutting plate will sometimes be a bit rough on the bottom and the front side is nice and smooth where the die is being. <laughs> oh, bless. Somebody wants attention. She can wait, Mel, until we finish. The girls are always giving her treats um, online, aren't you? So I'm gonna leave a little bit of a gap here because I want to place this and then have that in the middle. I keep these nice and straight, but I'll allow a little bit on the end um, for um, oh dear, trimming how long, how where I want it to be. Okay, I'll hold that in there. If you guys could see her now, she's so funny. She sits up the table. Okay, so when you've got bendy letters like this, it's just important to keep them the same distance apart. Move that a little bit and keep them nice and straight. So you have them going straight upwards like so. Is that so? She's coming through. There's probably too many obstacles for her to get over at the moment. So. Yeah. Someone keep reminding me, it is Sunday today, isn't it? The clock still is, is um, about six or seven minutes slow. So I do need to get that done. Mel's going to remind me this week to get the ladder in and get up there and do that. Okay, so that's going in there and straight up. My tweezers do come in so, so handy. Aha, she doesn't want to be ignored. No, that's about it. But it's all for treats. She's very fickle. She'll literally have treats and then she'll run away again. Yep, it's still Sunday. I could have sworn that this was, um, yesterday was Sunday. Because we normally come back on a Sunday. We normally stay over with Mel two nights, not one night. And then um, we come back on the Sunday. But because it's going to be staying for a while, she's um, a little bit... Yeah, we got back quickly. So I want to make these even on each side. I don't want it hanging over. That's too much. Um, I could put a layer behind it. I could sponge the edges. Um, 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 um. Uh, what ink pads have we got in here? No, I haven't got those ones. So I'm just gonna cut that. Again, I'm gonna put a little pencil mark. I want it to be there. Oh, maybe there, a little bit more. There and there. Okay, and I'll trim that with a little trimmer. Yep. Okay, so we're going on the wider one than that, and then one in here. We really would love this trimmer to come back because I really want you all to have one. They are so good. Um, so on here, again, I mark the middle point. I think I did this quite recently. If you mark this in the middle of a, of a join on your grid paper you've got the same gap either side and then go with your middle point and about half a centimetre okay and then do the same the other end so you mark that three and a bit three and a bit okay and then about the depth of a box so put a little dot in there so you can snip up to the middle like so okay so it's coming up to that dot and then you're going to come in from the edges Mel, could you just see if you can find the ink pads for Granny Apple Green and the Misty Moonlight, please? So coming in from that corner and we're aiming for that point still. Okay, so we've just got a slight little banner flag on there. Then we're coming in the middle there. Just checking, we're definitely not on the table. And one into that corner and one in from this corner. There and there. Okay, doke. 
So that's in ready. Um, what I would like to do is to just run a little, um, a little sponge around the edge there and highlight that. So done that one and that one. Okay, and then this is then going to sit onto our card, definitely on foam pads. Okay, and that can come up there. And then we could embellish that later. You could put some flowers on it, etc. So I'm going to do this one as well. I'm going to mark this to the same length and cut this off. Okay, did you find them? No, I can't see anything. Okay. I'm going to cut that the same length as the other one because we know that works. And don't be afraid to have templates. So we're going to put the other hello on here, the other colour. Now the other thing that's useful for you to do is if you I'm just turning this over so I can see you can see the white against white oops I've moved it a little bit haven't I has that camera start to droop oh I do believe I am sure it's the weight of that phone we've got to so solve that but we'll sort that later so again I'm going to mark the middle of my card okay because I've got a definite um line that I want to make. I've got a good eyeball here, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nearly nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nearly nine. I am good, aren't I? No, not well. No? Yeah. Might be in some of the, the um, trugs um, over there, the little black trugs. Above the basket, look in that trug, yeah, that might be one in there. So this is the middle of my card. So I go, when you've got five letters, it's easier. L, L, O, coming backwards, and you've got the H, and you've got the E, okay? So what we're actually doing here, we're working to the middle, and we're working to the middle letter, okay? So the middle letter wants to be on that level in there, really, okay? So I'm not going to move that. I'm going to grab my tweezers, get my L, and then just do the tombow along the edge here like I was. No, no. Not even Granny Apple wasn't in there as well. No. Uh, well, well, I've, maybe we aren't sponging the edges tonight. There we go. So I go for the bottom here. <laughs> yeah, she wants traits. So there's my L in the middle. Do you get the gist of that? So you are kind of aiming for the middle. Okay. But not in that pile. I can see all the colours here. Oh. No. Probably around somewhere. They might be underneath there. Is there anything underneath that tray? Depends if I've had them recently or not. So now I'm going to use my grid sheet. I'm going to pop these back over here. And I'm going to finish the word. It's very insisting. It's because Daddy's gone to bed. It's white. So that looks a little bit short. I'm just going to... Let's tease that one up. There we go. Any no, not online. She'll be crunch crunch. Okay. She's taking advantage of visitors, you see. <laughs> She's same in classes. <laughs> Mel has two two spaniels at home, don't you? Yeah. So she's used used to animals. So, just these last two letters, and then we'll do a little, little bit more flagging. Look at her staring at me. <laughs> yeah. Anyone would think she was starved. They didn't finish eating breakfast, so they then they did have some dinner, but later. But they've still got food in the pan, so they're not starved, despite what she's telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog can hear some much. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's usual. Bless. There we go. So we're going to put that one along there and just line that up nicely. Oh, she's gone running out now. That's it, given up. No, that's nope, Tiggs. Okay. <laughs> Shrek, you? Okay, there we go. So we've done that on there. We've got a little bit more on this side than that side. Could just shave off a little, little tiny morsel if I really wanted to, just to even those up. Love these cards and the technique. Oh, thanks, Rhonda. Shaz has. 22 springers it's a lot of dogs isn't it Shaz lives on a farm so I'm going to do the same here and we know it's three nearly four so one two three nearly four one two three oh 
just over three was it that's there anyway one block in okay and then the same the other end so one two three four nearly yeah four and a bit one two three four and a bit i've got to come this way a bit put a little dot in there about one de one block depth okay and i'm going to do the same snip into here okay and then snip from the ends and aim for that dot and then come this side and from the corner in to that dot Just find it and then pivot okay didn't quite match up there there we go so in from the center there in the heel of your scissors into there and then pivot till you get to that point there love our scissors because they go right to the very very tip very few scissors actually go that sharp right to the end and i had somebody the other day who wasn't used to them i think it might have been um linda i think that might have been um andy said it the other day didn't they they really are sharp they go right to the edge so i'm going to leave these at the moment i'm going to put some foam pads on the back of them they were here somewhere hiding yep i put some new sheets in so you've got some nice big squares there so if i turn these over and lay these on i might jiggle about with them a little bit and um, put some further embellishments on when we finish but that's basically going to be that one probably have some more color just to enhance that outside edge and then this one the same so one on each corner i don't like things to sag when they go in the post so we'll have those like that and one in the middle okay so they go in the box and there we go so there are the cards okay so all it needs to say is a simple hello and then you could write your message inside so we can put some layers into the center We've been longer tonight, haven't we? So if you had if you had to trim these panels down, you could keep a little whisper that you've trimmed off a side or an edge, and you could then embellish the inside of your card or the um, envelope. Okay, so I'm just going to cut a couple of panels, 13 and a half by that way. I'll do nine this way, 13 and a half that way, 13. 30. As long as it's in proportion, I don't really mind on the sizes for the inside of a card. 13 by nine and a half. Try that one first. If you're feeling extravagant, you can put another layer behind your liner so they can just go on the inside. Okay, so that would just go in there like so. And yeah, that does need to be trimmed down a little bit. I like the proportions right. So I take another piece off there at nine centimeters and nine for the other one. I've got a big event this weekend and then I've got an another big one event the following weekend. And then after that, I am gonna do my size charts for everybody so I can have it laminated and on my table here. Okay, so that's just a li liner for the middle and your greeting. Okay, and then another one for the liner inside of that one and the greeting. Okay, I'll leave those because I might just tinker with the edges a little bit. Okay, so there's my cards for today. I hope you've enjoyed that. I'm not too inky. My fingers aren't too mucky. Okay, um, but it's a really good technique. Remember, the cheapest, cheapest. Oh, bless. Thank you for your lovely comments. Oh, bless you. I'll bring your cross back to me. Take that off and bring you back. There we go. Um, lovely for you to join me. Thank you for being here. I have a Norfolk Terrier and a little shadow. Oh, bless. Um, we love, yeah, we love the animals, don't we? So yeah, there's my cards. Um, uh, remember the shaving foam. You need to have the cheapest, cheapest, cheerful, and not the blue foam, the blue gel foam. That won't work the same, okay, because it needs to froth up first. Okay, thanks everybody. Some lovely comments on there. Um, just remember that it's the last couple of days, today and tomorrow, the last days um, for your bonus vouchers. If you make a £45 purchase, then you get a £4.50 email with a, co a code, coupon code that you can use in August. Um, and as demos, we have seen the new mini catalogue, the Christmas one, um, and we will be able to order those for you on the 2nd of August. So then after that, they'll be coming to start to arrive with us. When is Scrapbooking Sunday? I did say about the last one of the month, but I, I missed this one, Shaz, because I thought, well, I will um, 
I will do the um, uh, finish the month of watercolor because it was a whole month. So we'll do watercolor again on Wednesday. Um, it's not just plain watercoloring; it's basically um, playing with inks, everything. But I will do a scrapbook Sunday. But I'm not going to disappoint you because I'm going to actually show you what I've been playing on today. I just need to move the camera out, and I will flick you across. Just come down and out. Oh, not that far. You can see the mess around me. There we go, a little bit more. You need to be able to see a 12 inch page. So there we go, that's not too bad. Take the pad out of the way and you'll be able to see it better. And before I move you across, that's on the card. Can you see all of that? I think you can. We're definitely drooping again, girls. Okay, so I'm gonna move that out a bit. There you go, you can see all my little fussy cut pieces off the edge there, but that doesn't matter. Okay, let's go down on the desk. So this is the page that I've been working with, okay? We had a challenge, it's in a group that I'm, I've am i I've been in anyway, um, but they set off with a, you can't see? No, because I've not put you, oh, you should be able to. You can't see it, you should be able to. Can anybody see it? definitely down on the desk I know sometimes I forget I haven't lost a camera nothing's gone off have they it's not died I've got batteries you're fine yeah that's good lovely so um, I'm in a challenge and they it's a five-week challenge starting now but they did a warm-up week we had to use flowers we had to use a cloud or a Sun on our paper on our, our layout um, we had to, yeah, the flowers, we had to have a weather related word. So I've got sunshine, a little bit of glue showing there. Um, and flowers, we had to use flowers somewhere. I think that was a five. Clouds or a sun. Oh, a rainbow. Rainbow had to feature somewhere as well. So I had to have a rainbow or rainbow papers. The flowers had to be flowers, um, uh, not, not just flowers on the paper. So this didn't count. So I did hello sunshine and my clouds are here and I've punched those out with the, the punch. I'll bring it up to the camera so you can see individual bits. So they were the clouds. I did my lovely, oh, we had to use a mixed media or an, uh, a technique, ink technique. So I did my clouds on the vellum with the alcohol markers and then I punched them out in the, the cloud punch. So I got clouds up there. So clouds had to feature clouds or sun. And then the flowers was the last one. So that was the technique. The weather related word was down here. Um, and that was it, I think. So there's five different things we have to do. They've just announced it this week's for the week ahead. So you might get to see another one. But it was lovely because we had a challenge and we had to meet all of those. It's a friendly challenge. There's about 15 or 16 in each team. And we um, can get five points, one point for each, each item. Okay, there are ways of getting extra um, points if you've got her products, but obviously you can use whatever you've got. So, but it was a really nice challenge to do. Really enjoyed it. Mel helped me doing the die cutting today. Um, and this was the um, um, Sunflower Festival last August when Mel was here again and our Ukrainian friends. Um, and that was just at the farm, just up the road. And it was a lovely evening, really lovely summer's evening. Really nice. What do you what do you put the 12 inch paper in when it's done now i have pockets i have poly pockets from when stampin up used to stock scrapbooking there's a lot of demos let me bring me back to me so you can see my face there's a lot of demos that are really really pushing to try and get the 12 inch back you can buy the 12 inch papers in a pack of the individual color families two of each sheet i believe off the top of my head um but the white is in there you can still use white um this paper obviously was our designer series paper that I've used um, from the Singing in the Rain or playing, playing in the Rain. So that was an obvious one for me to choose for that layout. Okay, there, but the pockets, yeah, they are available. Um, Stampin' Up have done, had them before. So um, leave that one, park that one for now because we are pushing to get some back. We do have smaller albums, the seven by the eight by six, seven by four, eight by six, I think, album. It's a craft colored one. Um, but we've got, a, a, yeah, I've got lots of papers as well, Marilyn. Um, but the, yeah, the photos made it and they weren't printed on glossy paper either. They were just photographic paper. So um, yeah, I will be enhancing this. Um, give me through the summer um, because I've got a busy August coming up. 
um, and then of course I'm away again at the end of the month so um, so of, of August at convention so leave that with me and hopefully um, Jackie's over tomorrow and I'm sure we'll be talking about this as well um, about bringing something for the autumn term uh, autumn term as such um, so yeah um, keep I'll keep you posted but yeah it's definitely something that there's several of us want to do um, so we're going to work together for that and um, bring you some classes and get together some things where you can bring them along and do yeah you can use any any size scrapbook scrapbooks come in all sorts of shapes and sizes um, so yes it can be you can buy books that you can just um, you buy bound books you can just put your pages in so you make your page and then put them in um, but there's all sorts of different ways of doing it so but we will come up with some things for you um, in the not too distant future I hope okay so stay with me and thanks again for joining me I will see you on Wednesday for the last of the run of watercolour and then we will start August with a new month okay so bye for now thanks for keeping me company tonight and have a good